on the front, disengage the weights on the front, and that's the only way to do this. And I'm sitting back, and the weights on the back to be able to do that. And there he is there, look. They, it, it took some while to get him out. It was very Ooh, touching. Ouch! He got me! <laughs> you, never get, you never get used to this, you know. Yeah. My, my partner. There you go. Go. Outside leg back to go out. I haven't touched my reins. Now I'm going out. Now I'm going in. Shot. <gasps> Peanut brittle! Oh, you like that? <laughs> She's carried a rider again, no bucking. So guys, this is a different uh, sort of look, I guess you could say. Uh, basically, I couldn't find I couldn't find my cap. Tanya found another cap, and that needed going in the washing machine. And then I was going to put a Western hat on, which I sometimes do. And Tanya says, well, no, why don't you put the Peaky Blinder cap on, which was hanging up, and there's there's a reason for it. And Tanya, fair play to her, she's clever. There's a little bit of a gypsy theme to this video, uh, and I'll explain I'll explain now. So that's why I've got the kind of uh, gyp gypsy-type look uh, for this video. You know, we, we've just got back from a five-day trip away again. It was down the south... Uh, of England again, which was uh, Cornwall, uh, Penzance. We got as far as Penzance, which is not far from the very tip uh, of Land's End, really. Uh, what a great trip we had. We're quite tired now. We got back. It was a lot of traveling. There was a lot of horses for me to work. Um, there's some great videos uh, to come, as well as this one. It's a good video. Uh, there's some great videos to come in the next few weeks from, from this trip. Now, we were having to head down that way again, uh, we, we left last Thursday. I had to do a very difficult horse that would not um, that would not go near near a trailer in the end. It got that bad, and I went to that on the way, which is Sarah. I've had your messages. Thank you so much for the messages. Uh, your video will definitely be going on in the next week or so. Um, so that that's that. Thanks for for letting me know how things are going. We headed down then from um, where that was, which was in Devon. Yeah, that one, that one was in Devon on the way down. I actually did on Thursday 450 mile with the detour. Got down to where we did the, the demo. Now, the demo is something that we did for uh, who has become a friend now, really. A Rosie who's got an equestrian centre down um, near Penzance. So on a previous trip down that way, I met Rosie. It's when I had to go and, and pick up um, Rolex for a, for a demo down there. A horse I, I sold. I'll explain further in the video, but horse I, I sold about three and a half, four years ago. Um, and when I was there, I met, met Rosie, where he's being kept. And Rosie, unfortunately, um, there's some health issues in the family. Rosie's husband, John, is not well. Um, prayers for him. Uh, is not well and I noticed um, a really nice like western old-fashioned carriage small carriage that that Rosie got and Rosie very kind of she said to watch all the videos watch all your videos we love the videos and Rosie ended up giving me a, loads of gifts that she wouldn't use with chaps and chinks and all sorts of different uh, bridal bits and everything and I was really shocked and and that and I showed an interest in this carriage not thinking for a second she would sell it and she did she she virtually gifted us three carriages and the one uh, carriage I already got back to our place which is the little doctor's cart as they call it from front which came from Texas and then there's two other ones um, and I'll show you those now actually and you'll understand why it's a, a gypsy theme to this, which is why I've got this on. And there's our gypsy cart, one of the carts we brought back from Cornwall. And um, we're gonna be, we've got all sorts of plans for that cart actually. 
not 100% sure, but several ideas of what to do with it. But what a lovely, lovely cart that is. Fabulous. Thank you, Rosie. Really appreciate it. So that makes three carts now we've had off Rosie. Um, there's one, which is called a Dutch cart. Apparently, it actually seats f uh, two there. I just had the one bit there repaired. A uh, couple of kids there. Could be good there, maybe. So yeah, that that's a lovely little cart. And then obviously our pride and joy, which came from Texas, a genuine. They call it a doctor's cart from the old Wild West. Fantastic, eh? Really great. Oh, and I better just show you again my pride and joy, <laughs> the old triumph. Right then, let's go finish this video. So aren't they fabulous guys? Though those, those carts, absolutely fantastic. And I will keep you posted on what we do with the gypsy one, all sorts of ideas. It may end up being like a chuck wagon to stay in or a proper gypsy uh, wagon that you can stay in and have a little stove in there and that, all sorts of things. But we won't do that till over the winter because we've still got things going on at the moment. So, right, so we're down there. I've got the carts. I've had to take a trailer down to pick up the other two carts. And we were asked by a very good friend of ours, Ingrid, Ingrid Sofrin, um, who, who bought a Rolex off me and allows me to use him if I need to. So we got um, Rosie and Ingrid. They both asked me, is there any way we could do, while we're down there, a little, a little demo for local people in the hopes of promoting maybe a little club, a little horsemanship club, uh, just promoting horsemanship really and a lot of people are asking if they could see some me work with a few horses so of course I said yes I said, I said no worries I'll do that uh, you know we we agreed that there'd be no charge because it would only be a few people maybe a little barbecue well like everything <laughs> lately it all kind of escalated and suddenly it's like a hundred people come in so which I had no problem with that at all and the more the merrier if it's going to promote some some other ideas people can have for their horses by watching a few things that I do. So that's what this primarily this video is a, a demo I did at Rose's Equestrian Centre, and you'll see some clips from it and some explanations of the horses, some very interesting horses um, that I that I dealt with there. And uh, yeah, it's a good video, good little learning video again and it, you'll kind of get the atmosphere of all what's going on down there. And I thank again, Ingrid, you were a wonderful host, and Rosie, love you to bits. We'll definitely see you again. Uh, so yeah, let's start the video now then. You know what's happening. I went down to the carts, ended up doing this uh, demo for local people, and it, everything everything was great. So yeah, let's see this now. Yeah. Come and look at this. What? Somebody's got a little sweet shop. Yeah. In Penzance. I think it's Penzance. Is that like, the. You know, what, oh. You know, we like Tintagel. Oh, right, yeah. They just and give they us give those. you every kind of sweet that they sell. Bags and bags. Charlotte's going to be so happy. Oh, wow. Look at them, everything. They give you one of everything they sell in the shop. <gasps> Peanut brittle. Oh, you like that? We're um, about 30, 40 minutes away from starting the demonstration. How are you doing, car park attendants? <laughs> huh? Not bad. Get in there. Good girl. <laughs> Come on then, youngster. Oh, go on, <laughs> well, you've got, that's why you've got your water. Do you want one of those lovely little sweeties? You, you, never, get, you never get used to this. You know. My, my it's, from it. um, it's not black and white. It's all the grey in between that you become. You become what you are with horses. You know, not everyone's got a different feel. Everyone's got a different way of doing things. You might see some things today that, that you think, do you know what? I'm going to try that. Uh, and has anyone heard of the saying, observe, remember and compare? Do you want to hear that? So guys, I'm about to do some work with Rolex. Uh, I did own him about four years ago. I did about 18, I had him for about 18 months. I rode him for about 12 months on and off. Uh, a great, well-bred horse, beautiful horse. And I, this will be the third time in four years that I've seen him, uh, rode him, done anything with him. Uh, but I felt so confident that it would be great for people to see where kind of my training heads towards 
I know it can make a horse really get with you. And do you know what? They don't forget, guys. Horses don't forget. And uh, that's something I really believe. They know they know facial um, differences. They know smells. They know everything. I'm really convinced. So you'll see him do a little bit of a demo now. And uh, yeah, Let's see how that goes. I don't care if you do it again, because I've got to make my idea his idea. So I'm not going to waste that. I'm not going to waste that. I'm going to make, wait till he gives a nice feel here, which is right there. That's where that comes on. And that's where that goes on. I never, never waste, if I, if I can, I never waste a thing. And I got asked the other day, how much, how much ground might you do then? How often do you do that? Why do you do it every day? I say, oh no, once it's done, I never ever do it again in the horse's life. And they almost fell on the floor like this. I said, what? I said, I never do my groundwork again. The original groundwork might have took, is anyone surprised at that? A little bit surprised? Once my groundwork's done, but it might take me three days. It might take me three weeks. It might take me three months to get what I've just showed you with quality. I mean to the horse. Once that's done, I never ever do it again. Unless something comes up. Now what I do, I go to catch my horse. All my groundwork is in my handling. I go out to Nita, I go out to Mali, I go out to even little Darcy. I, I go and catch the horses with quality. So I'll catch them, I'll ask them to put the whole trunk with quality here. I might ask them to back up two places. Give me a little bit of space here. I might walk up. And if I'm going left, one is the inside rein, which tips the horse's eye to where you're going, okay? And to turn into a circle is two, which is outside leg back. So outside leg back. Number two is inside leg, to go out in a circle. Inside leg is number two. And I keep doing this for you to see it working. So I'm either going straight or I'm going into a circle. So I'm going into the left circle. Into one and three is behind the girl. To go out is still one, but my inside leg on. Right? So I'll keep one, outside leg back, three. To go out in that left circle is inside leg on. I haven't changed the reins. The reins are only for, they're only for sitting the nose or sitting the eye in the direction. So I'm going to keep my, my reins tight, steady now. Now to go in, I'm going to look in, outside leg back. To go out, I haven't touched my reins. Now I'm going out. Now I'm going in, I'm looking in, my outside leg back. One and three. Now out in the left circle. One and two. Now how easy is that compared with inside leg to outside brain? To in? It's pretty, it's so easy. Now inside the direction, outside the collection there. There's another, and obviously the neck brain. But, um, flat. Now I'm going to drive more than I thought. Drive, drive, drive. Oh, it felt beautiful. So I'll let it go. So on a hack, I'll go maybe 20 and 2. 20 with nothing. Nothing. There's his release. Get my flaps. Drive one, two. Yes, got it. So I'm, I would do that and win that game for a whole hack. And the next hack, I'd go 15 and 3. 15 and 1, 2, 3. Oh, thank you. That was beautiful. I lift up on green, throw my hand down to my red, touch it and double it. Double it. And wait for what, guys? Wait for. You see it? Now I should. Um, so I'm going to do the one, two. So we're going one and two. Now one and three. Now one and two. And I'm going to stop it. Backing up, going to lift it with me on one and two. Now I'm going to bring this shoulder out there. Thank you, that's lovely. Get soft to me, thank you. Right, touch him again. Getting soft, there, beautiful. Little one and three again. Soft him again. Can't oh, they move? Huh? Now, did you hear me say about trotting forward? I'll say, easy. So now, I can go easy and then and then faster again. Okay? I can do half half, I can do a complete complete stop with it easy. And go easy. And then we go forward again. Right? Okay, now whenever I say that word, the word, 
okay? You just laterally. Now I'm going to pick up on him there. If you see him, make the decision there to put off there. You see that? So there's going to be no, nothing in it for him to do that. There will be nothing in it for him because he actually stopped with meaning. Oh, he stopped him with a meaning there. And I backed him up. Right, so what I'm explaining is when I say that word, in hand or riding, right? I will back a horse up or turn more than 90 degrees every time. Every single time. As long as it's safe to do so. Okay. Well, it really has a meaning. Well, and then he's almost going back already. He's remembering that now, see? He's remembering that. Uh, so that's my cues for that. Now, remember the exercise. I'm going to just quickly show you how I'm going to just get him connected to it again. Because this is just, this is a talk to that left, that left, that right, that right, that right. Stop the left, bring the left back, right, left, right. Bring that left out and again, out. Bring that right in front of the left, front of the left, front of the left. Bring that, bring that right spine inside this one. Bring this, this way. Do so you see that, guys? I was trying to disconnect it to each feet. So I'm going to take the weight on the front of the horse. Remember I did that? There's the front of the horse. Now I'm going to swap <coughs> the weight on the back of the horse. You see that? I don't like that. You get sick of it. <laughs> I'm going to take the weight on the front, disengage the weight on the front, and I'm going to sit back, and the weight's on the back to be able to do that. Now I'm going to back him up. I'm going to back him up in a circle. Circle to my right. Circle to my right, and straight. Now I'll circle to my left. Circle to my left. Circle to my left. Now straight. So this is the kind of control, and this is your best gate to do everything, is walk. Get all good in walk. Grab a hair, for a lead, but then it's only important to the left, which is going to be has to pick up a left lead, else you fall over. So if you can, if you can get the hip in, there's a left lead, there's, get soft to me, there's, come on, properly. There, there's the right lead. You see that, guys? Is that kind of showing you that's how you get your lead? But that comes from all of that stuff on the ground, all of that disengaging, so that my, my leg behind the girth means that back end goes. And this front end, this, 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 so the legs here, and I set down, means that left reach. Right, right, left. Right, left, right, stop. And we will show, we'll drop that. Remember what I said? That, uh, don't like people to see too much of that because they can but lower your head. So he's following a field, he's come up. I'm going to say, follow the field down. The only release you get is down there. There, guys. And again, I'm going to do this till he just relaxes down. Till I oh, didn't have to touch his back there. Am I explaining this how you can understand this? You all got it. So, that's, that's it then. You see how that's the point I was looking for? He said, okay. It's better for me, meaning him. He thinks it's better for me if I just stay down there. So, I think time now has got away with us. Right then, guys. Now, I don't know if you agree, but, wow, I just really enjoyed that groundwork with him. Enjoyed getting back with him and loved riding him. And I would love, do you know what, if I, if I ever get a chance to go down there in not a working capacity, I said to Ingrid, I'd love a couple of weeks riding him again. I really would. Go down the local beaches, get with him, do some arena work and get him back to... Because, um, you know, it, Ingrid's done a fantastic job keeping him going with softness and that, but I would love, I'd love it a little bit more and be able to show a little bit more, 
because I wanted to show more in that demo, but he, was, he, he wasn't quite, quite ready again for that. But yeah, it took Ingrid quite a while to get really with Rolex and fair play, she stuck with it. She has had her issues with him uh, because they're like, they're so well bred. They're like little Ferrari pockets, really. You know, <clears throat> and, and he, a bit like Nita, any confusion puts it into energy and can get a little, a, li a little bit upset with certain things, but Ingrid's persevered with it. She's now enjoying him way beyond she ever thought she would. She goes to all sorts of different little events and takes him out in the trailer. Uh, we did a lot of taking him out. So he's great for traveling out. And you know, things are really working fantastically uh, for Ingrid. So I'm so pleased. So he would crack on. So there you go, guys. That's the actual bog and the hole that was made just there by, by the horse. Um, yeah, it was quite an event apparently. And there he is there, look. They, it, it took some while to get him out. It was very touch and go, he was sinking and sinking. The more they thrash these horses, the lower they go, a bit like the way quicksand works. But yeah, there he is, look, he's just, just been pulled. Now then, this is the next horse that I'm working after Rolex. And I bet you're thinking, oh, what happened there then? Now this is an amazing story. A while ago, uh, Katie is the owner. She actually works with Rosie at the Equestrian Centre. I will mention what Equestrian Centre is later in the video because I can't think on the top of my head now exactly what, what it's called and I want to get that right. A uh, lovely place to go with an indoor arena and everything and a very good history there with Rosie. <clears throat> but basically, there was a well-known accident that happened. Now, Katie and her horse, I think it's Freddy, Freddy the horse, uh, had a, 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 an accident where Freddy, I, someone scared Freddy, this is what I, I'm thinking in my mind, scared Freddy and bolted and ended up jumping into a bog. And the bog was a bit like quicksand and thrashed around. Katie was very lucky to get out. And Katie's horse, quite a big horse, went down and down and down and got stuck in the bog and could potentially have lost his life. Now it involved, it was, you know, everyone knew about this down there because it's a small community down there. It's bigger when the holiday season's on, I know, but it, but everyone knew it was in the local news, lots of photos, you'll see a few more photos in a second. So it's quite a big thing. And, you know, it was a kind of quite a trauma for the horse. And there was vets involved, there was, other chiropractors and all sorts. Now, Katie has not ridden this horse for quite a long time. Uh, there's been a lot of people helping, a lot of professional people helping. And I was just going to have a look at the horse, you know, and maybe do a bit of groundwork and try and check the horse out for what I think is going on and how traumatised it was. Do you know, guys, I spent a little bit of time the day before, uh, nothing in the arena, but just in the stable, played around with the horse, made sure that the back reactions were correct for going up rather than down. So they picked the back up for certain stimuli. And I just felt like the horse was fine. And I knew Katie was quite emotional about getting back on. It's like, it, it's, like it's such a big thing. And I said, it's not. This horse will, will carry you no trouble. I mean, if the one thing that I thought I could leave that place with is Katie getting back on, even if it's just to sit on, you know, and I said, are you willing to do it? If I said it'd be okay. And she said, yes. She said, I, I will, if you really think, you could tell she was trembling. Now, Katie, due to this, to this uh, thing that happened, has become very emotional about her and her horse. And there was a lot of tears that I wouldn't like show or anything like that, but she was very emotional about it. And I said, look, she said she didn't want to do anything in front of people. I said, don't worry, you'll be fine. If I'm fine, I mean, I get dry mouthed. I haven't got used to being in front of people at all. Uh, and there's another story why I'm not from, from, from school. But uh, I said, you'll be fine. And I was determined to get Katie on that horse. And that's what it is now. We've got a traumatized horse, apparently. We've got kind of a more, I think, more traumatized Katie due to it not the horse, and you'll see what goes on now and see how far we get. So you know the story about about this horse now, and uh, it'll be very interesting for all to watch. And it took quite a team of guys as well. Look at that. And there's a vet on site, look, giving him a calming injection. 
and just checking him out, making sure there's no um, treatment needed uh, to keep him from shock and things. And uh, there's Rosie there in the blue. Lovely Rosie, who uh, obviously was quite quite upset that day. And see there, there's Katie, who's in the demo. Just there, looking quite upset, you can see. quite quite. It was quite a lot for both the horse and Katie to deal with, I, I guess. And there you go. It uh, apparently made the local news and everything. Uh, it was quite an event. Um, and, you know, a lot of people knew about it and was talking about it. And It's not very often, though, you get a horse stuck in a... Now, and we put one of our, one of our uh, bits on, because what we've done, we've dropped this that much, because there was... Let's have a look. Okay. <coughs> the horse can get tense, guys, right? The horse can get a little bit tense. And we found when we dropped the bit, the whole demeanor of the horse, you witnessed it. Mm -hmm. Right, the nose band was on. Who uses a nose band? Can you give me a reason why you would put it on? Charlotte uses them, I'm not telling you not to use them. I have mine purely for cosmetics, but I have it really loose. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Show to Charlotte. Yeah. Okay. Like Does anyone know why you would, other than cosmetically then, why you would have one? Shut them out. That's primarily what it is. Now a relaxed horse has a relaxed mouth. What I do with any horse that comes to me that's got problems, I junk everything off the table. Get rid of a lot of it. Any big bits, any... I drop them bits right down, get the horse used to hold carrying the bit. We had a martingale on as well, which means there's very little chance. If you needed the confidence to stop with a bend, you know I was showing you earlier, I need to try and get a little confidence between you two, you won't be able to, the way, the, the way that was set up, you'd be pulling the head down with the pressure with the mark. Everyone know what a martingale is? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I jumped that. We're going to see what we've got. This is what I'm using all my experience to try and help the situation to get you on board if everything checks out. So, are you with that so far? So, uh, we'll take that. We'll leave the whole time for a second. Right? Lowering the head, or first thing, let's just see how um, he, she, I can't he feels about. So remember, guys, I. what I do with my leg, my left leg, right? So I'm going along here, right? That was, so I'm going to look at, right, he's gone back straight over there. So I'm going to work on this. <coughs> so when I stop, he hooks into me, stops when I stop. But my left leg will drop back. So, <laughs> that was actually a deep stop, I right? heard. Now, remember? Ah. Uh, but the more that happens, can you understand it better? You can never go wrong. If I keep doing that, it'll always be right there. There, do you see the spot? You've got to release that, that spot. That spot is where it all makes sense. Right, so I'll check that again. No. <laughs> yes, I'm leaving behind me. And the apex, why I say, always a bit dangerous. Hang on, let's see what you've got to do. I'm not allowed to record. I'm aware, in my group, I know exactly where to be. Up. Okay, so, drop that back. Up. I think that lady's recording over there. Oh, yeah, we're not allowed to record. Sorry. <laughs> Can I do these and then delete delete? Yeah, delete delete. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, there's your recording. Oh. James is already enough, and I do understand why. I understand why. Right. So, so it's important he has absolute confidence in us. And to have the confidence in us, he's got to get out of our space and go back away from me. 
Alright, and you've got to start. Start. No, not forward. He says, get it. Get it. Right. Oh, now he's starting to stop. Wow. Love it. Love it. I'm going to lower his head for that. See, guy, not mad at you. You just got to, just got to respect him a little bit more. And not run off into bugs. Which <laughs> 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 we need a one man up for. Look at him. So I, you've just seen me firm up a little bit. These do not hurt, they're boing in sticks. So they're like boing enough, you see the boing? Yeah. I won't use whips, because they sting. Pain is the worst motivator for any horse, pain. That's not pain, that's, that's suggesting to come on. Right, so, hind quarter, right? So I'm gonna lift the rein, remember I lifted the rein for the hind quarter? Yeah, lifted it, so. That's a step. There's a little one on the better one. That's a step. You see good? Yeah. So I've got out there now. I want him to feel good about giving his I'm this new person in his life suddenly. But he's not sure how to stop. Lovely. Look at me. I'm what we need. But you see how good that one was? So we just give all these slides up. In the moment, right? Oh, lovely. Stop. There, I'm gone. I'm gone when he gives it me. Stop. Come to Back up. Shut. Pesky bugs, isn't it? Huh? Where's it far from here? Oh, well, a couple of miles, a couple of miles, isn't it, Rosie? Is it? Yeah, a couple of miles. Yeah. Did you see that, Jamie? So you've seen a slight change? Yeah. A bit of seeing it, like, just yeah. a, I don't know, different expression now. He's not looking, he's not feeling the need to, yeah. because he's feeling like I'm a leader to him now. I can, not as quick as this, but you're seeing a difference. You would take, feel better around me. But I don't mean this in a way that's gonna make you feel weird. Very quickly, I would be the closest to a friend in a human he's ever had. Mm. Almost I'm guaranteed. That, that mm. Yes, because that's all, that's all he wants. He's complete enough to be able to go, oh, I don't have to worry anymore, because you're all I need. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. And now uh, those disengages. That's beautiful. That's really nice. Now, uh, all those disengages, the more you do, they're not wasted because it teaches a horse to bend in the strip cage. I've had horses real stiff that have been started badly, that have been. Just not, you know, not tall properly from the off. When it's the most impressionable time when they're young. Uh, and I, I love horses which are stiff and I do loads of disengaging and they get softer in the ribcage because I keep releasing them when they are soft and disengaging. And so I go and they go, whoa, that feels good. If I get all nice and loose and it just walks up and leaves me alone. So you can't overdo it. 
can't ever do that, disengage. So that's, that's good. Now, backing up with the equipment. Have you ever done that backing up and releasing <coughs> for a foot? What's that funny look? <laughs> that's what I say to Tanya. A, right. So I'm going to hold my thumb down. Okay? Um, I'm going to need if you don't. Right, I'm going to push back with this. But I'm not going to use much more than about 20 pounds pressure. When I feel that pressure come up and there's not a change in them, I'm going to wiggle my hand like this to be a new feel. Because a lot of people would have pushed him back. Am I right? Or you're just nodding because I'm... You do do that. Yeah, so look, right. I'm going to, now I'm going to release because the button's up. Right. So there, look, he's looking up there. So I would say, every time you start looking at silly things, you come back to me. And he gets to the stage two weeks and he would be kind of it on me unless he was <laughs> Thumb down. Release. Release. And release. I had a real nice light one there. Yes, his nose was in the air, but you can't get it all up once. You have to get this connected to his feet for backing up. Any pressure on this, you want to be able to get him back. And that will carry over to your bit. Because someone said he's a bit spooky out. So rather than have to get up every time, but don't worry if, if you have to. Who cares if you have to? But you bear on this. And I want you to hop on there like it's old grandma sauce. All right, old grandma sauce. Give him a rub. Rub him, don't slap on him, rub him. Now jump off with quality, with quality. All right? Oh, you know, rub, 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 rub. Go to quality like it again, like it's nothing. Like it's nothing in your mind. And little rub, good, good. Right, are you okay to follow me around? And, yeah? Yeah. Just follow me around. Be, uh, remember to do one thing for me. Force a smile. You look at that lovely smile she's got, isn't it? It's true, isn't it? I don't know, it's very, she feels different, doesn't it? Follow me around, and when I say stop, I want to rub on yours, right? Okay, yep. like it's nothing, just follow me, follow me. Okay. Right here, and then stop. Let me rub on. Look at that. The bug monster. Look at that. Okay. So, follow me around again, okay? Yeah, look, smile. Smile and just follow me around. And this is really spongy, isn't it? Huh? <laughs> Lovely. And just go. Uh, just do it. Put the third ball with me. Come to me now. Come to me now. And stop. That's all this way. Now focus. Good girl. Stop.
here. His head dropped about three. That's it. Give it just give him a <laughs> Like I said about the brain, he couldn't, he had no say over him. Get a bit worried then, what the hell is that? Now, that sound, as well as the visual, is saying, I might not get killed here with this. So he starts, that's what desensitizing is. All right, Edna? Yep. I think she did really well. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. So, we're gonna have the, yeah. I only did it, didn't I? I did it, I did it. So if there was one thing that I needed to go down there for, it was that. And Katie, I've had messages back. Katie is so determined now, feels completely different about things and is determined. Now what? Wasn't said enough there. There was only so much filming Tanya could do uh, during that, that demo because she got a little sh a table set up there and people kept coming and buying things off her that she makes, the flags and the bowling sticks and bits and pieces, and especially our, excuse me, our clips that we've got that go underneath the bit. Now, what's not shown there is Katie had quite, I wouldn't say a nasty bit, I wouldn't say like that, because at the end of the day, any bit's fine if the hands are fine, okay? But didn't like the bit, so she junked the bit for me. I said, trust me, let's get a snaffle in there. We just put a, a sweet iron snaffle in there, and we put, uh, we junked the nose, band because that was very tight there's no other adjustment it was clamped tight so junk that let's let your horse relax took the because it involved a lot of bending of the horse we junked the martingale and we dropped the bit down about that much guys no joke there was it was really like, like that and i said oh let's drop that and you know what the mouth settled very quickly some sometimes it, it takes a couple of weeks for the mouths to settle with a little bit and it's so there was quite a few people there watching and I don't I think it was evidence that the horse got real relaxed with it all. So you didn't see that now. Very importantly, underneath, if you're gonna drop a bit down, there will be a video showing this properly. We make ourselves now these special clicks clips. I'll show one. So these are our special um chin straps that we have made that go underneath. If you're gonna lower the horse's bit really important it can being as it's loose uh, to suit the horse and the uh, and the comfort of the horse and the relaxation of the horse but if you if you don't have one of these connecting under the bit the bit can pull through so the bit will come halfway in the mouth because it's really nice and loose and the horse holds it the the bit themselves so these we have made uh, they're fantastic they've got adjustments on them uh, so you can get them uh, exactly right i can't do without these so yeah um you can you can you'll see these uh, on our uh, Shopify that Tanya does. <coughs> so yeah, that's quite nice, guys. Back to the guys. It's a bit heavy today, but it's just well, yeah. And it's been a big deal. This horse came last night. Stay back. Came this morning. Came this morning. I was just testing you actually. Came this morning. Hasn't been out. So, I don't know what everyone thinks here. I think that's bloody mad. Now then, the second horse uh, was brought in to me on the afternoon. Remember this, this, we did quite a bit. It was supposed to be from 11 till three o'clock. And I think we went on till about five o'clock. Started about half 10, everyone was getting there. It was talking. So it ended up being a bit longer. But this particular horse, the Rachel, Rachel, her name is, she brought, it didn't, it wasn't far away. It was only a couple of miles miles away fortunately and Rachel brought that three-year-old out to the equestrian center where we were on the morning and I said look you know yes we'll have your horse there because of the story behind it which I'll explain in a minute and uh, you know she brought it there and I said look because of my insurances and things I need to not be negligent so I need to see you get there early enough so I need to see you in the situation and 
uh, leading your horse around and, and make sure the horse is okay. She don't want the horse causing any damage to anyone. So I watched her. She didn't, Rachel didn't know I was watching as much as I did, but I watched her for a little while. Then I went away and I did watch everything. And there was one particular point, which I'll explain later, where the horse let go a little bit, uh, which you'll see why I do what I do in a little while. But I must say, uh, this is why I said yes to this particular horse, because we got other horses for the demo, which were on site with little issues, maybe now and again, or not that many issues really, because Rose is very good with her horses. But basically, Rachel has got Tourette's. She admitted it to me on the phone, she said, I've got Tourette's. Uh, and there's a reason why I bought the horse for two reasons. And, and she explained it sa saved two people in her, in her mind, two people. One is when um, Rachel is around a horse or other horses and she's with them and doing work with them and spending time with them, her Tourette's uh, goes, goes lower and almost non-existent. And she also has what's called a tick, and I didn't really know exactly what that meant, but it's where you, you tick a lot and blink a lot. And she said that even gets better uh, when she's around the horses. I said, wow. And I made a joke, actually. I, made, I try to make comedy out of things that are very serious, if I can. And, you know, I did say how popular uh, and cool it's getting to have Tourette's because of a program we had here called Big Brother. And there was a Tourette's guy on it. I think he won it, actually. And I know he's become a millionaire from it, from doing appearances and things. And uh, I think a lot of it is stress-related. Um, but, you know, Rachel talked to me about that and said she didn't mind me mentioning it to the audience at all, if it would help. Was very upfront about it. Wouldn't mind me saying this now. And also, she said the other reason was she considers that it saved her daughter. Her daughter was in a bad, bad place. And this horse is only three years old. And I think they've had it a couple of years. And it saved two people, this horse. So they think the world of this horse. And when they got this horse, it was extremely difficult. Rachel has been through it with this horse. It's been very, very, very troubled, very bargy. And steadily, Rachel has worked through it and has got a horse there now, a really nice horse. And it travelled there fine. There's a lot of good things going on there. But it can be real. The hardest problem she's had is keeping it out of her space. It's knocked her down a lot throughout its the time she's had it there. Uh, you know, spooked through her and things. She's got that going much better now. And I'm so pleased she bought the horse. Uh, Tanya has had a message back she's doing. You know, there is an improvement since she's been there. It's only been a few days. And uh, she's really waiting for the video which this is the video that should be on. So that gives you an idea about this horse. I'm just about to, to I'm just watching her now. Uh, uh, you know, see, see now she's getting on in front of everybody. And do you know what, Rachel was very worried about it and did fantastic in front of the crowd. And she never once really uh, showed her Tourette's. Uh, probably because I said, it doesn't matter if you do. Uh, she said to me after, if you just said, please don't show it, she probably would and been ticking, but I said, oh, it'd be great. I'm sure it'll be quite funny, you know, and she laughed about it. But yeah, so here we go. Then, what kind of thing, interesting for me, I noticed you're releasing the feet, that's brilliant. Can you lower the head? She might not want to, guys, I've asked that for a reason, because she might not want to, because she's quite bothered, a little bit bothered. She's never had all of us looking at her, has she? We were saying about the eyes earlier. Go on, show me. Yes. Watch, she doesn't move you too much. Yeah. Disengage. Yes. I mean, I think, I for a three-year-old, for a three-year-old, but yes. Okay. Do you think it's a pretty horse? I do. I yeah. Argy. She's been in the past. You see glimpses of it. Would I be right? I'm, I'm, she was. She had no yeah. idea. I know. I know. On the phone, you said to me, "Come back now." Oh, she pushes you all over the place, but you've been working on it. Yeah. It's getting better. You can see glimpses of this pushiness and bargeiness. Um, then there was the intent there, which worked. You listen to there.
Really good. Okay. Step down now. Do you want me to have a little play at that, guys? Just to yeah. see what I like. Okay. Um, <clears throat> it will probably be slightly more effective than you are. Yeah. But. I need to see it. Yeah, yeah. you need to see it. Right, yeah. So, I've never even touched this horse. Um, right, so, okay. Okay. I just made it difficult for her to trot. That's quite nice. Can we have a disengagement? No, no, no. Stop the left. Good. That's good. Now she's leaning on her front. Anyone feel that then? She just leans on me a little bit. She that came like. Yeah. Um, there. Now she's not. Now she's not. That's good. So this is quite a big deal for her. Someone new. Disengage, send this front end across. Oh, no, think about what you're doing. No, I don't think you love that. I'm not going to pop you with it. Go this way. Right. That's better. I don't think we'll have you top from that. Uh, I'm picking up on something that happened earlier. Agreed? Yeah. I asked you to. Bring, and was this the spot where it happened? I remember. I did. Mm -hmm. Not there, this. Bit. Exactly here. Where? That's why I've done it. Uh, this way, thank you. Good. Nice. Now, uh, I'll put my hand up then because yeah, yeah. it'll be so close. Take it from me. She's going to be light, she's going to be sensitive, yeah. she's going to have impulsion. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of good here. Not overly sensitive though, because I had a type of down that was just yeah. Well, yeah. you know, yeah. but you've got to. You get complacent. It probably won't be so up. Love me for that, for telling her that. That's beautiful. Lovely. Is the only way she can go, it's not far this way, is it? So if she goes this way, I'm going to put pressure on her. Mentally, physically, pressure on her head. 
and I'm going to release the pressure when she goes the way I want it to go. So I'm going to come the wrong way and I'm going to start clucking. And she's going the right way, so there's going to be nothing. That's the right way. There we go. That's the right way. Hind quarters, I'm thinking. We need hind quarters. Tell her how good she is. Right. And bump. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Pressure, 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 pressure. Do you see that hind quarter step? Just for one second. Tell her how good she is. Actually, she'll come up. Touch. I was so lucky then, I can't tell you. <laughs> because that touch had meaning. Now, not my water, not my water, sorry. Yeah. I wanted to feel good here, but not, you know, we've got to be serious about it. I don't, I don't want to be getting on her and her head's down on the floor. Think about where this is headed. I don't want to look in at different things. I want her to be ready for us to get on and be attentive, not <laughs> yeah. All right, do you see what I'm getting at? See, now there's the spot. You see that spot where she didn't fiddle? She didn't fiddle. Now I've jumped down. I'm gonna let her know how good she is. Bump her up. It has to be black and white. Yeah. When horses drop with the bit, you know, young horses and they drop their, their, their heads too low, it has to be, they have to run into something. Put a smile on your face, and you don't want to be piddling about for years and they're not getting it. They run into a bump. And it stops them dropping, having the thought, thank you, girl. Right, we'll go again. How much sense is this making, guys? Yeah, go forward. But I'm picking up on what you've done. You with me? Yeah, you're just, I'm just fixing all my broken You just made it look easy for me. Right, so, cluck. No pressure. She's thinking about this. Right? Oh my lord. Right then. Can you bring your back end in a bit more? Look, a bit of pressure mentally, a bit of pressure. Come on your head, come on your head. Work it out, I don't care how long it takes. Come on, work it out. Don't go the wrong way, don't go the wrong way. That's bad, that's bad. That's bad, that's bad. Oh, that's bad, that's bad. Oh, it's good. See that? Can't go wrong. It just means better things for her when they get it wrong, because they search. Touch. Right. I'm gonna build on this. Now there's ways of doing it with it. the Boygan stick, uh, and tapping and tapping and tapping and tapping, but when it goes this way, the tapping stops. Yeah. And then when, when it goes this way, you, you, you raise the stick up, because eventually it will be your hand. You've seen some horsemen do this with the hand. It all came from the stick, because the stick comes up when the hind quarters go the right way. I pretend to, I prefer to just, I do it this way if I can, because this will be my rein. I will be lifting my rein yes. to cause this. I do have to go to the flag, and I do have to go to I, the boy I've just stick. been getting on there, and I've just been moving it and moving it. Yeah, yeah, you can, you can. Brilliant. But, uh, right then. Come on, girl. On now, in the real world, <laughs> in the real world, I would let her sit there, Sit there for a while, for longer. Oh. Oh. But I'm going to expand on this. I don't want to, I want to know him with the halter that, that when she comes to the block, she doesn't think about all of this, she waits with a head position that you're not going to slide down forward. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> that was her idea. That was her idea to, you know, that's when I would, my first session, from going forward, you can go backwards. That's where I would finish this. Yeah. The only thing I wouldn't mind seeing you do is lead into driving. Uh, follow the float. Okay, lovely. Think about taking the space behind. Have a longer rope. You've got, you've got too much of it. That's it. Now you look at where you're going. When, when you do, when you do do it, 
have focus where you're taking them. So they're in front, but don't eyeball the horse. Eyeball where you're wanting to go. Does you understand that? Because she'll feel your focus wherever you're looking. So there, is that the camera up here? Did you? Oh, we all mess things up. So there's leading. Now I think this horse is getting really quiet. Mm -hmm. I think this horse is showing itself as it, as you said it was at home, yeah? yeah. The thing's feeling a little bit, there you go, have focus where you're going. Now you're a leader. Do you think you could do that with your own horses, guys? I'm going to change sides. <coughs> okay. And then I'll do a load of this after I've got my respected space from it. Getting out my way quicker now. She is. Now, look back and then send the foot back. Send, send your own foot. Yeah, stop now, stop. Move your foot. What do you think that, guys? Really good. <laughs> That's good. How do you feel then? I think you've really benefited from grooming your horse here. It was worth a two mile trip. <laughs> <laughs> Well, didn't she do well? I was so impressed with Rachel and she was ecstatic about everything. It was just great. Uh, so that was that basically was the end of the clinic. Guide. Well, it's not a clinic, was it? A little free demo that we did to try and promote horsemanship down there. The the page that was put on the, on the on the table that Tanya was selling her little bits from, the pay the page where Ingrid and Rosie asked people to put their name and address on was full, it was full of people who were interested in doing something down there, having a little club going, both the Western Saddle and the English Saddle, because it's just costume, remember? So that was really, really great. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. And do you know what? People stayed there for ages. I was sort of sat there like a little star, answering questions and everything, and and, 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 and thinking, oh my God, you know, I can't believe it. Uh, uh, and we were there till probably half five, whatever. Then we all went in the back where the barbecue had been made and we all had to sit there. There was probably about 15 of us um, who had helped sort out the demo and Rosie and everybody uh, involved in it. <coughs> and uh, we all had a lovely few drinks, a little relax. And a lot of, lot of, especially Rosie, she said, that was the best bit for me when it was all done. We could all sit down, all have a few drinks and uh, have some of the food that was left over from the dinner time because they did a lovely barbecue and that was absolutely lovely. And what you'll see now, <clears throat> the following day, the following day, I was asked by a, a professional horseman who runs a fantastic uh, swimming with horses place down in not far from from Penzance, not far from where we were and he's a respected horseman in the area a lot of people have told me that he's the go-to guy to go to with problem horses and things like that so very much you know same ilk as myself i guess and he came um because he's busy he couldn't stay long he came and he watched he watched some of what i was doing and do you know what i think he enjoyed it, it just it's just something different uh, i still watch other horsemen and pick bits up and he, 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 fair play, he asked if there's any way, um, and he's Rose, his very good friend, and Rose, he put a word in for him, said, is there any way you could do a couple of hours in the morning? And you know what? I didn't really feel like it. And Tanya said, well, can't we? I said, okay, we'll do it. So um, his name's Chris. He came down the following morning. You'll see some, some clips from that now. Very, very, very um, entertaining person he is. He came down with two of his workers. <clears throat> now, if you want to go swimming with horses, that's what his business is. Very, It's five stars, highly recommended. If you go down there and you want to swim with horses, he's the go-to man. And he's got some lovely girls working for him. They are so nice. And that, th this is a, a little clinic I did for him uh, and the girls. And I, I, I was kind of thinking, oh, you know, that'd be great. Let's get this finished. And do you know what? I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed them. I enjoyed him. We had a cracking time and we all sat sat after for a good hour which uh, and have coffees and talked about things and and he's a very entertaining man and you'll see why why in a second so here we go but don't forget swimming with horses in cornwall cornwall swimming horses it's called i think it's the official name check it out if you want to go swimming with it, some great horses they're the place to go
When we have a gallop, I have to put my finger there for him to hold on to because he bounces around too much. Really? Come on, look at the parrot. Attention. Look at the parrot. That's so cool. Look, his name is Buster. Buster the parrot. You said you took him on a how long? Six day ride. I took the parrot on a six day ride. Parrot loves Chris. Hey, Buster. <laughs> that's so cool. So that's typically what you can do, guys. Cornwall Swimming Horses, run by Nick. Nick Horton, I think his name is. Uh, lovely chap. That's the one with the parrot. <laughs> parrot on his shoulder. Here's just a few pictures, you know, of what, what to expect when you go out with these guys. And there's Nick there, look, giving some tuition. Uh, I can't see a parrot on his shoulder there, though, can you? So it does come off now and again. So that's it then. So it's uh, Cornwall Swimming Horses. Check them out when you're down there, guys. Now after seeing Chris with his parrot on his shoulder, and he rises, he, he stays there, just poo down his back a bit. That's just a bit weird, but... Uh, it inspired me and Tanya seeing that. We've got Max back, our parrot now, after he's 35 years of age. We haven't had him for years because we moved abroad and things. And we've ended up going full circle. Now we've got him back. We've only had him back a couple of weeks. And I said to Tanya on the way back, I'm going to let him out. And you'll see the first time I let him out after years of being in his cage. And uh, always been well looked after mind. I will say that. Excellently looked after. You'll see... You'll see him come out of his cage for the first time, and I've added this in now. But he's thinking about coming out, look. First time in a long time, look. First time he knows he's gonna do it. He's gonna do it, he's out of his cage. First time for a long time, because remember he does bite people. If he used to bite Tanya, that you've witnessed the first time, and so have I, in years that he's come out of his cage. Look, warning, this bird bites. And there he is. And there he is. Now I've got to open the door. Hello, Max. Hello, Max. Hello, Max. Hello, Max. Hello, Max. Yay! Look at you. Look at you, Max. Are you happy? Are you out your cage? He's doing the happy dance, look. Oh, God, I've hardly got no voice left after the, those four days. I've been so busy down in Cornwall and doing the clinic and demos and... Woo! Hello, Max. Shall I... Shall I take a chance? Try and touch Come you. On. Oh, he knows I'm frightened. Hello, Max. <laughs> Ouch! He got me. <laughs> he got me. You bugger. You bugger. You bugger. <laughs> That's it. Anyway, I'll shut the door now so he can't fly out or the cat can't get you. I'll have to watch that one. Hey! Hey! <laughs> okay, so I've. on the table? Yes. So we've had the parrot five minutes. Yeah. Hello? What you got? Huh? What you got? You got crisps and orange? Crisps? <laughs> hmm? Who let you out your cage? Stephen, who's going to get him back in his cage? You that. Who's going to get him back in his cage? Look what's on his table. Oh, yeah. Look what's on his table. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'll get him in. <laughs> the last time he used gloves years ago, he climbed up your arm and bit your ear. Mm, he did. Hey, Chris, before we start doing that down the in a minute, just, just stop him or her. Uh, this. What? The only reason... I mean, maybe she goes, put the snapper in, because as soon as that bit goes in her mouth, yes. she's almost got this like, preset. 
because I spit in the mouth. Do you hear that, guys? Yeah. Isn't this an interesting horse? Mm. Been in the army. Yeah, three, they have three riders, as average, you would say, in the yeah, army. Three troopers. To three horse. troopers. The troopers never can ride because the army don't They're like beginners. employ riders. They like to teach them their way. Yeah. Can you imagine that? Mm. What this horse been through? Mm. But doesn't it look like an army horse? Yeah. yeah. It just gives that. The, you know, what's the, oh, there's I a, can yeah. definitely see war her horse, doing, isn't it? You remember the war horse yeah. film? Yeah, she was a good and having grips really? on there. Really? Yeah. She was pulling cannons. She wasn't. Yeah. Wasn't pulling cannons. Right. You're right, what you just said. Well, I That's can see exactly her pulling what I was cannons, thinking yeah. when you said it. That's the kind of stamp in it, the First yeah. World War, you see them all dragging the guns around and, and she the was... rider on top as well. Perfectly locked. Why? Right? The more that happens, Chris, the better for you because the more she has to work it out as lovely. So, right? so you were saying yesterday that, you know, with... with Yeah, this works. Yes. Oh, that wasn't that fantastic you know like i say give chris chris a look in i'm sure he'd love to love to look after you and go swim with horses you know what next time i'm down i might even do that i might if he said come along come along i'll take you swimming right out of so i might even do that and uh i don't know how we'd blog that how would we film that we'd have to have a waterproof something or other but uh yeah then we're nearly done now with this video there's uh, a couple of clips now the following morning before we came home this was before we came home 400 miles uh, i had to go to uh, uh, see a, a, fa a, a lovely family who, who got hold of me after the clinic now i don't know why i said look i won't be able to fit you in i'm so sorry but the way they asked me and what they were saying it kind of played on my mind i said to tanya i need to go so they were delighted that i would go we went on the morning i was there that quite a long time and you'll see a couple of clips now there will be some fantastic video coming about this this visit these these people are actually deb deb's coming up with her husband um maybe the whole family to a to our ranch day it resonated that well she saw her confidence has just completely changed with what i've done with those horses only two of the six they've got and they're kind of rescue horses but you know you'll see a couple of clips now just setting you up for the videos that are coming for there. Again, fantastic learning involving quite a lot of round schooling as well. So I'll quickly show you those what are to come. Good girl. Should we see if you'll uh, let me ride ya? <laughs> like an old Dobbin. <laughs> That's a lovely thought just to, she's carried a rider again. No bucket. Very bashful. I'm going to show her. I'm going to show. What is this? Oh my this god, did you make us. that? Well, no, not, not technically. Look at that beautiful thing. Yes, did. Oh, so that's it. That's pretty much the end of this video for definite now. A bit longer video than I thought it was going to be, actually, this one, to be honest. Tanya, as usual, has come in now because uh, it's the end. And, uh, yeah, was there anything? You, you did mention to... the sign, didn't you, Parson Slow? You saw uh, that? No, because we were handed. Yeah. Right, yes, I'm going to add this into this video now. At the, at the demo, a very, very nice uh, lady came up to us and said, for a good cause, please, will you put this banner uh, up on here? Uh, to do with safety of, it's called Pass pa yeah. Wide, Wide and slow. slow. Show that very quickly now. And there you go. Um, we were handed this at the demo, at the demo we did. 
and we promised we'd put this up and quite a few people will see this hopefully what a great cause and hopefully we'll you know save a lot of people from from injury um but it's a great cause so two meter distance guys when there's horses involved that's the future so yeah that's a great cause that's it till the next video which will be next week james will keep on to me i'm sure uh, some as i say some great videos anything else left to say tanya yeah a few dates we're going to Dorset uh, for the 6th of August. That's 6th in of August. Portland. We're uh, doing a clinic there. Yeah, they've got lots of seats in there. And there's some spaces left there. And that's in Portland. 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 Yes. Portland. Yeah. Near Weymouth. Near Weymouth. Great, great day. That'll be there. Yeah. These are the last two things we're doing this year, guys, because yeah. we've got so much going on and things to do on the ranch. There's two things left this year for us, other than you will still get your videos and my subscription channel will have be flooded with stuff because we've got a new horse here now that we're just about to start on and um, so we've got two things left yeah we've got the ranch day on august 13th ranch day august 13th yeah with the lunch and lots going on i've got a couple of uh, yeah. another horse coming here yes. which i haven't seen which will be interesting so we've got that on saturday august 13th. august 13th the weekend after that, we're going to a country and western festival on Malvern. <laughs> yeah, but that's not for anyone yeah, no, to meet no. us there for that. <laughs> yeah. We're going with a friend of ours. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, and then we've got the final summer camp on the twenty sixth to the twenty eighth of August. No, you didn't mention the right. Did you mention the two dates? Yeah. What was the two dates again? Dorset. Dorset. What's the date of that? Sixth. The sixth, and then thirteenth. Ranch day. Ranch day, and, and then, then we've got the clinic. The, and we've got a few people coming over from the states for that no um, that's not clinic uh, sorry the summer camp the summer camp that's yeah. the three days yeah got some people from america and australia uh, australia <laughs> can you believe that guys but that should be a great three days shouldn't uh, it yeah. got some looking really good back. friends coming as well people i know i'm really yeah. looking forward to that one so that's it guys over and out like it's the old thing Please keep like us going share. like share comment really keeps us cracking on uh, and uh, yeah, look, we're going to do a diary. You said for next year, we're going to yes, do a a list of stuff. Sch schedule. S schedule, schedule for next year. As I say, there'll be nothing else going on after these things we just mentioned, other than I've got a list of horses I'm going to be going to for the videos and the subscription channel. And next year, we're going to have a lot on from from spring. Yeah. Uh, we're going to give the dates early so people can plan properly for it. Yeah, because so we on, do get a lot of people asking if we can do demos and clinics. On where with, they are. Onwards and upwards. Onwards and upwards. But yeah, we're going to travel around and do a clinic, stroke demos. We're going to hopefully do all parts of the country because people are really asking. And I'm so pleased that this is getting popular because it is good horsemanship. It is for the horse. It's all for the horse. And that's the way I, why I think it's so popular. So. Oh, I'm just going to say. Oh no, that... no. Can I just say, please? Um. If you like this look, guys, I'm going to keep this look, right? Peaky blinder. Shall I? A bit of a peaky blinder. Shall I? No, I think we'll go back to your camp. <laughs> she said there's no way I'm having this up again. I've but had, anyway. I've had, a, I've had a, a peaky blinder for the afternoon. Yeah, no. all right then. And I just want to say again. What? I've just had a message from Rachel, the one with the little dun. Oh, Rachel with the Tourette's. Yeah. Uh, with, uh, and she just said, massive improvement, uh, and he's even standing still now. I've just heard that for the first time, guys. Uh, standing what? Standing still. Brilliant stuff. And she said, and that, thank you all so I much. did was top off a little bit what she did. She's worked very hard on that horse. And it just shows you what horses can do for us as well as what we do for them. So that's it then, Tan. Yep. Happy trials. See you next week, hopefully.